You know when fictional characters suddenly look right at the camera and address their audience? That is called breaking the fourth wall. Now in a previous video I had asked that if we are in a simulation then how do we break our fourth wall? And what I meant by that is that if we are in fact sentient sims then how do we address our programmers directly to let them know that we are in fact sentient? Now in that same video, I'd ask the question, what if the fourth dimension is our fourth wall? Think about it. So when you watch TV or a movie, the characters on there appear to be 2D. And so we being three dimensional beings are in a different dimension. So basically a fourth dimensional being would be somewhat like us, except they would be unbound to space and time, unlike us, and their world would truly be non-deterministic. Or if the fourth dimension is deterministic, perhaps it would be vastly less deterministic than our dimension. Think like Westworld. So remember how the hosts who became sentient thought that they had a bit of freedom, but as the show progressed, they realized that they were still more or less controlled. And then the guests thought that they had a lot more freedom than the hosts, and they did, but they were still controlled. That's what I mean. Side note, I think that's what UFOs are. I think when we're seeing UFOs, those are actually four dimensional beings appearing to us in non-corporeal form but I digress. Speaking of non-corporeal form, in the last video, a lot of people mentioned astral projections as a means to travel to and communicate with beings in the fourth dimension. Now that made sense to me. Like to use a sim or AI analogy, if my sim became sentient and I wanted to bring them into this dimension, into 3D form, I would have to transfer their consciousness into a three-dimensional form, like a body of a robot or a car or a human being. So I would have to agree. I think the best form in which to navigate the fourth dimension would be using an astral body. Just like the best way to navigate a two-dimensional world or virtual reality world would be to use a two-dimensional avatar. Which begs the question, if we have astral bodies capable of navigating the fourth dimension, just like with video games, we have 2D bodies capable of navigating the second dimension, then aren't we really just multi-dimensional beings having a three-dimensional experience?